Here on the ACC Digital Network, brought to you by Ruby Tuesday. It's the ACC football kickoff. Tom Wormy along with Riley Skinner and the head coach of the Miami Hurricanes, Al Golden. Coach, first thanks for your time, but right away, the media has selected you as the potential winners in the Coastal. you got to love it when right off the bat they say you're going to be the best team in your division. Well, again, just for accuracy <laughs> standpoint, that was the same media that picked us fifth last year. So uh, we'll just leave it at that. You know, we, we, you know we're, uh, we're grateful, obviously, uh, that uh, people think we're building the program and going in the right direction. But at the same time, we're really not, uh, you know, worried about anything on the outside. We're just trying to build our program, uh, you know, step by step. What have you seen from your guys? I mean, the guys that have been in your program now and you're under your philosophy, guys like Stephen Morris, how do you think they're ready to handle those kind of off-season expectations heading into this year? Well, they've had a great uh, testing ground, if you will, an incubator, if, they, if you will, in terms of what they've gone through in terms of the NCAA and the adversity that we face. So uh, I've hope, you know, we have a you know, process-driven team right now. I hope we're ha we have an internally driven team. and, and uh, it feels like that in the summer. You know, we've we've had a team right now that uh, it feels like over the summer they've gone from bought in to locked in. They're focused on our goals and our mission and and uh, trying to eliminate distractions and anything extraneous. You know, on the outside. Well, looking at Stephen Morris, I want to know what has offensive coordinator James Coley done to improve his game and his mental game uh, in, in this last spring and into camp. I think uh, the one thing uh, I could I could tell you from uh, James' standpoint is uh, he streamlined everything. Uh, we've uh, reduced uh, as much as we can. We've asked Stephen what he feels comfortable with. You know, he got him playing very fast right now. Um, I think uh, the biggest thing is uh, just every little facet of his game, whether it's the screen game, it's you know the intermediate throws, the short throws, whatever. Uh, you know, that Steven needs to work on. He's got a great regimen right now, and, and Steven's football acuity and his uh, intelligence uh, of the game is, I think, what separates him. Coach, I'm sure you're aiming for a little more consistency as far as performance, game in, game out, as far as the season goes. But on the defensive side of the ball, what are the things that you're trying to focus in on to improve that side of the ball as well? Well, I think, that, number one, we played with 14 freshmen last yep. year uh, versus the third hardest schedule in the country. So that, that was a tough task in and of itself. And, and uh, I think the two things that jump out on defense, everybody will talk about third down defense or run defense, whatever. The, the bottom line is the two things that jump out to me, and it, it really screams of inexperience or lack of confidence uh, at the technique, and that is mental errors and penalties. You know, I think we had 23 defensive penalties, way too many. Uh, I've never been around a defense that had that many. And our mental errors, you know, we need to cut those in half. We do those two, two things. You really give yourself a better chance to win the game. And then uh, clearly we need to get to the, the quarterback a little bit better. And uh, third down defense uh, will, be, sure. will be helped by that as well. You mentioned the schedule. And if we could jump ahead just a little bit, those Gators are lurking in the second <laughs> week. That's got to be exciting for you. Well, it is. And, and uh, uh, you're, you guys are true to form jumping <laughs> ahead. <laughs> it's only a couple <laughs> of weeks. I'd rather though. not jump only ahead. Only a couple of weeks in. Um, that's no, a great I, test. I mean, a great, well, you know, a great program to go. No, I think against. it's, uh, it's a, you know, again, we're playing, f you know, four, you know, we're playing three teams, you know, in the state of, uh, of Florida this year. So uh, actually four. Sorry, uh, we're playing four teams: FAU, USF, Florida State, and right. Florida. So uh, it, you know, it's uh, they're they're all going to be charged. Uh, all going to have great environments, and uh, certainly uh, we open up with uh, Florida Atlantic, and then uh, then we're home uh, for the Gators. But three of them are in the first four weeks, so it should be exciting. Are you guys trying to do anything new with the electrifying Duke Johnson in your offense, whether it's catching the football out of the backfield, lining him up in slot? Are you trying to do anything else to get the ball in his hands? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Leave it at that. No, <laughs> much you, you just said it. You just said a myriad of ways to do it. So I'm agreeing with you. But I just think you know uh, he did that last year. You know he, he returned kicks. Uh, you know he caught screens out of the backfield. Of course he ran the ball out of the backfield. He lined up in the slot uh, for us. He motioned out other times. And the only thing, you know, that we want to do is just use him more. Uh, you know, he wasn't ready. And, you know, uh, of course, he was, you know, talented. But in terms of him physically being ready, he didn't go through an offseason program. Uh, he had just gotten there and all that. So I think he's just going to be that much better this year. And, and he'll be able to handle the load a little bit uh, better as the season uh, progresses. So a stronger Duke Johnson and Sean Morris throwing the ball all over the yard. Stephen Defenses Moore. are in. Steve, Stephen Morris, Sean Moore. <laughs> Stephen Morris throwing the ball all over the yard. Defenses are in for some trouble with you guys. Well, we're excited about the group. Yeah. Uh, our, our biggest strength is probably our offensive line, though. You know, that's the. You know, I know that's not glamorous to say, but uh, we have a lot of starts up there, a lot of experience, uh, a lot of size, and in, in, 
and strength, and, uh, and we should be playing a lot of guys. So hopefully we'll build around that. Well, Coach, thank you very much for your time. Best of luck this season. Thank you, guys. That's Al Golden from the Miami Hurricanes, and thank you for watching the ACC Digital Network, brought to you by Ruby Tuesday.